Monday and it is what time is it it is 1 50 so about to be two o'clock did y'all notice how <laughs> I'm funny how I had to like squint to see to look at my laptop to see what time it was at the bottom and I have on glasses they are real glasses by the way prescription but yeah um so yeah it's almost two o'clock no, I did not just wake up. Clearly, I'm fully dressed. Um, hair did, put the wig on today. Brush my teeth, clean my face, ate breakfast and lunch or whatever. Um, I was just spending the morning getting work done or trying to get some work done. Um, I did some laundry that I'm about to go take out the dryer. I wash my clothes and then I also wash my comforter. So I'm about to go take my clothes out the dryer and put my comforters in the dryer. Um, don't know what part of the vlog this is going to be in. So I was like, let me actually come on here and at least speak, introduce myself, introduce the vlog or something, right? Because it would just be rude for y'all just to come in during the middle of my day and have no idea hold on because this is not stabilized what's going on all right cool stabilize that um so yeah y'all have no idea what will be going on so i'm taking a break from the administrative work doing work on my laptop because honestly that's stressing me out bringing me down so i'm taking a break from that um like i said in the middle of doing laundry hold on i wrote a to-do list so let me check off the stuff that i've done already oh i did okay i'm just looking at what i have to do for the rest of the day all right um so yeah i'm like let me take a break from that for a second i haven't been out the house today yet and i need to go for my daily walk and go work out um so that is what i'm about to do after i handle these clothes wow this is not even freaking dry what the heck dang my workout clothes are in there too so now i gotta go see if i have some more to go for my walk hold on let me make sure this is drying oh well, that's why. Oh, sh no. All right. That should work, hopefully. Y'all, yeah, I've been living in the same place for. <laughs> like three years and i'm just not figuring out how to work my freaking dryer that's ridiculous anywho my clothes weren't dry how disappointing so i had to restart that now i gotta go see if i have workout clothes because i can go walk in anything but i want to go to the gym after my walk i normally walk around my neighborhood like two or three times to try to do like a mile two miles um before I start my workout. I use that as my warm up now. Hold on, let me sit you guys down. All right, but yeah, I use that as my warm up now. Ugh. So, <sighs> now I wanna see, I need to go work out and I need to get out this house. I need to like clear my mind before I try to go back and do <laughs> some more work on my laptop so i need like some fresh air so i need to see if i have workout clothes clean already 
so that way I can get out the house. Today is the leg day. So I have clothes. I just don't have any sports bras. But since today is leg day, I don't necessarily need the girls <laughs> uh, supported that much because I'm not going to be doing too much cardio. So let me see what I could put on and replace. I don't want to wear a tank top. I have this one, but I do not like this. I do not like this sports bra at all. But I think I might have to wear it. I just don't want a huge t-shirt. And then for pants, do I want to wear shorts or do I want to wear pants? What do I want to wear? Y'all probably don't care what I, <laughs> care what I want to wear. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I feel like I want to be cute, but then it's like, girl, just throw on something. I don't want to wear these, though. It looks like it feels good outside, too. I'm definitely going to take these glasses off, too, when I go for my walk. This morning, I just want... I was feeling very productive. Oh, my gosh. I had to show you guys what I got this morning that put me in, like, really good spirits to start off this wonderful Monday, beginning of the week on good terms. You know, normally Mondays are like, ugh, like who wants to deal with a Monday? But I received something this morning and it just like lift my spirits up. It made me so happy. <sighs> and so, um, until, you know, I started working and then the work I was doing was starting to drain me. So I was like, time to get up, out, get up out the house and that's where we are now i think i'm gonna put on this tank top so hold on now that i just figured out what i'm gonna wear let me show you guys what i got so hold on let me fix you guys yesterday i had posted on my um close friends on instagram how i needed a new prayer journal so i had basically ordered like a year ago um ordered like this little journal nothing special hold on let me put you guys down again so that i can show you guys can you guys see me i think you guys can so i had ordered this little journal about a year ago and i just used this as my prayer journal it's basically just a regular journal it don't have no prompts or anything in it. Just regular things where you can line in it. And it just has this, um, can you guys see? There it goes. It has this little um, saying on it, scripture or whatever, on the front of it. And i just been using this as like my little prayer journal. So I write all my prayers inside here um, whenever I do that, which is basically either every morning or every night. Um, so, anywho, yesterday I was um, watching service and I was using it and I had realized that, honey, there's no more pages. This is the end. And I had used the whole thing. I didn't realize that I had it for a year because it's just been so, sh like, a routine for me. I got this. My first entry was, like, July 2022. That sound like a very long, <laughs> that sound way too long. Did I say that right? july 2020 no yeah july 2022 wow that sounds crazy <laughs> so yeah i had it over a year ago now D wasn't paying attention to like how many pages was in there until yesterday and i'm like hold on i don't have any more so i put on my cool stories that i was going to be needing a new journal because um that one was out tell me how so first i was at walmart yesterday i feel like you guys cannot see me um and i'm in my closet you guys see all these clothes clearly but yeah i do all my prayer stuff in my closet anywho yesterday i was at walmart um getting some cleaning supplies so i can clean up my house or whatever and i get a call from amazon at first i'm like mm, this is like a must be a scam because never have i received a phone call from amazon for anything uh, it said, to be exact, the caller ID said Amazon delivery. So the first time it, it called, I didn't answer. 
So then I'm shopping, shopping, shopping. And I get a text saying like, oh, your driver or whatever is trying to deliver, is trying to contact you um, to deliver a package. So I'm like, I'm not expecting anything. I didn't order thing, anything off Amazon. So I text my, asked my sister, did you order anything off Amazon? Are you expecting something? She's like, no. Asked my mom, was she expecting something? She was like, no. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna ignore it again. But then they call me again. So I'm like, okay, they called twice and they text. Let me answer to see who this is playing on my phone. <laughs> and so I answered it and the lady was like, she was asking for my address because she had a delivery and I was telling her and she had a very strong accent. Um, so I don't think she was understanding what, she had a very strong accent. So that told me that she's not from here, from America or whatever. Um, and so she probably didn't understand what I was trying to ask her, but I was like, I'm not expecting anything. So what's the name on the package? Cause I'm not expecting anything. And I wasn't just about to give her my address knowing that I'm not expecting any <laughs> packages. And I don't know, like I'm, I'm still under the impression that this is somebody trying to scam me. And so I'm like, what's the name on the package? Like, I don't, I'm not expecting anything. She's steady on the phone. Oh, uh, I'm trying to deliver a package. I need your address or whatever. What's the address? I'm like, I understand that, ma'am. I didn't order anything. I'm not expecting anything to be delivered to me. Can you tell me what's the name on the package? I need the address. I need the address. I understand that. Can you tell me what's the name on the package? I'm not expecting anything. I don't, I didn't order anything. I'm not expecting anything. Then she's like, oh, and she hung up. So now I'm like, okay <laughs> it's really a scam right because like if it all you had to do was just tell me what the name of the thing was and I, if it had somebody's name that i was familiar with i would have gave her my address but again i don't think she was just understanding what i was asking so whatever i ignored it because i'm like if it was really meant for me it'll find its way to me if not i'm not pressed because i didn't order anything so whatever so then i woke up this morning and my mom comes running in my room and she was like, oh, you really did have a package. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she brings me this, you guys. It's a new prayer journal. Let me show y'all this one. Prayer journal for women. Now this one's a real journal. First of all, it's a lot bigger. The original new one. This one has like, it's like a workbook basically. So like it has, um, on, I'm gonna show you guys. It has like a weekly scripture. It has to where like you can reflect, and then it has like your you know what you're thankful for, um, a teach me section so you can ask God like what you want Him to teach you, what do you need guidance in, what areas of your life do you need guidance in. Um, then it has like another little scripture here on the top. Um, and then, you know, again, it's access you, you know, what things do, are sitting in your heart? What are, what are the highlights of your week? So this is all based off like a weekly basis type of thing. And then it has a section where you can, it has a, a prayer request section. So this is actually very thorough, way more like interactive and way more like I was just using this journal just to write my prayers but I like this one because it's like it's giving me scriptures to where I could follow by and actually learn and write prayers at the same time so I woke up and my mom was giving me to this and she was like you really did have a package Amazon came this morning and dropped this off at your house and she was like the guy a guy was delivered at this time and she was like he watched my sister come walked towards our building because she goes and work out in the morning and he stopped her and he gave her this and said it was ours and i was like i didn't order no journal i know I, I literally just said i needed one but i didn't order one so instantly i'm like okay let me go on my close friends and see which one of them got my address and which one of them would have sent it to me and sure enough my good girl toya all the way in texas she sure enough she sent me this little journal so she ends up watching this for the thousand time thank you i used it this morning and honey this put me in very good spirits already like i feel like i'm gonna love this little journal 
and it has like like i said everything's based off the week so it has 52 weeks in here so it's gonna last me a year and yeah i'm like so excited about that that's what lifted up my spirits today that's what got me out of my bed on time because normally i'd be sleeping in um till like late morning but honey that got me up at seven o'clock this morning i started my day at seven o'clock and got that i was like well let me go ahead and put it to use get my day started and i've just been in good spirits ever since so yeah i'm very excited about that cannot wait to start using it some more like i feel like it's gonna be very helpful beneficial she got it from amazon so if you guys want to go check that out i would tell you guys i was gonna insert a leap but i didn't buy it i just know it came from amazon so so go look on amazon and search up prayer journal for women is what the title of that that's on the top of my thing so go look it up go get you one girl okay because you need it um not just girl either like guys too go get y'all one too everybody needs one y'all need to grow y'all relationship with the lord okay so y'all need to go get y'all one anywho it's 205 now i'm gonna stop ranting because i need to go put on my clothes so that we can get out this house and go start our daily walk so um yeah all right you guys i am back from my daily walk and working out i done showered changed into just something to relax in y'all something is wrong with my dryer like i was outside for a good two hours let me make sure it's working out i was um i walked for like 45 minutes and then I went to the hour for like 45 minutes. So I was gone for like almost two hours, basically two hours. And I come back, my clothes are still wet. Like they're not soaking wet, they're like damp. And it's never taken that long to dry my clothes. So I restarted it, go take a shower, change, redid my hair, cause y'all, that sun, it sweat out the lace. So I had to re um, take it off, put it back on and come back to check it again it said it's done which is inaccurate because i was only in the shower for like 20 minutes so you cannot be done drying when the timer said 54 minutes when i started it so anyhow checked it still damp so i just had to change it and hopefully for the third time it works if not, I'm going to be upset because I still need to dry my comforter set. And y'all know comforters take forever. At least mine do uh, take forever to dry. And it is 5.01 currently. I'm not trying to stay up all night waiting for my comforter to dry just to go to sleep. So that needs to hurry up. Anywho, I wanted to show you guys this ice cream that I've been eating because I want a little snack now. This, y'all. It's Yeso um, Greek Yogurt Bars. Y'all, 10 out of 10 recommend, okay? It has 100 calories and it has this specific uh, flavor. This chocolate chip cookie dough has four grams of protein. So not all of the Yeso, I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope that's right. Not all of the Yeso um, Yogurt Bars have protein in it. Some of them don't. Um, but they all do have like 100 or less calories. I think the highest calories that I've seen is like 120 or something. Y'all, I bought this yesterday and I'm about to eat the last one right now. It only comes with four in here. Like, it's so good to only come with four. They need to have a pack with eight or something. Because it makes no sense how I just got this yesterday. Around this same time, 5 o'clock. And here it is 24 hours later. And it's gone. It makes no sense. Uh, so yeah. Gonna eat that. And then I am about to um thing. So this melted. 
I'm gonna have to take it with me. This melted yesterday. So yeah, I'm about to eat this and then I'm about to um, do a little bit more work. So, well, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing when I set up my computer. I'm gonna show y'all and tell y'all what I'm working on. And then basically I'm checking my to-do list right now after I do what I'm about to do and show you guys. Um, I got like three other things on my to-do list that I needed to do today, but honestly, I don't know, today I'm a bit like <laughs> a little drained, a little tired, a little sleepy. I'm really not, but I am. The girls, the girls will get it. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not gonna like force myself to like overwork today. So I'm just gonna push the other stuff that I need to do until tomorrow for tomorrow's task. And I'm just about to do this one last task for today. And then we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the day. Like, just chill, cause it's giving. A Monday now, y'all know how earlier I was talking about how like I woke up good spirits, surprisingly a lot of energy for a Monday. Now it's starting to feel like a Monday. So I'm going to do that and kind of like just chill out for the rest of the day. Pretty proud of myself though. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things on my to-do list for today. And I got one, two, three four five five things done i'm about to do the six things now so like really there's only like two more things that i just need to do for tomorrow and i'll probably add some stuff as i think about it but yeah let me um get my laptop so i can do this last thing really quick and then chill out all right you guys so i am back and i'm about to start working on what I was talking about earlier. Wow. <laughs> My energy really did go low, you guys. Like, I am so tired. Um, But I'm still gonna, like, knock this out. So, I'm going to what I was wanted to tell you guys um, that I was going to work on is, so I'm creating a um my gosh I just had brain fart I am creating a um ebook a business plan ebook so I'm gonna talk I think I'm gonna make um like a whole another video um that goes like more to depth about it once I like have everything completed and ready to be like available for purchase and stuff um but just a little bit just like a little just the gist of what I'm doing or like a little teaser that I could share with you guys um so yeah I'm randomly thought about well not randomly I've always thought about like starting my own business um having multiple streams of income um I've been doing research for like the last I would say like a year or so about like just types of different businesses and things that I can like try to get my hands into um what can I do to make money? Um, and so, and like easy stuff too, because I want to have multiple streams of income, but I don't want to like hustle to have multiple streams of income. Like I don't want to have like the type of income where like I put in the work firsthand and then I step away and it does what it do and makes me my money, right? So I want like my money to work for me. I don't want to work for money. And so... Um, creating an ebook, of course, was one of the things where I was like, oh, that's pretty easy. Like, let me just type up a whole bunch of, a, like, a document, make it into a PDF, and sell it online. Simple. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm making a business plan because I have recently, um, been kind of, like, working with... So my dad, he owns a restaurant and he just recently, him and my goddad and another business partner that they have opened a restaurant. The, uh, the third, the other business partner that they have, she's a chef. So essentially it's her restaurant. My dad and goddad are kind of like the investors, whatever. Um, and so they asked me to come help them kind of like 
or get everything organized, kind of like staff the building or the restaurant, um, kind of just help them to just like organize everything and operate um, the business properly. So I guess you could say I was kind of like, or I am um, kind of like an operations manager for them in a sense. Um, and so I've been helping with that lately. And um, there's like a whole lot of challenges that comes with that. Um, and I'm not going to speak about that now. Like that can be like, that's like, like a whole nother topic. Like I can, th that's a little rant. I'm not about to rant to y'all right now. But with the challenges that has come along with that, it's made me, it's brought to my attention that like on a business plan as like, simple as it is is something that i feel like a lot of people when they think about opening up a business they kind of skip over or like they make a business they say they make a business plan but it's not like a business plan and so i i went to school for business administration so i know what a business plan is i've had to write one literally for almost every class all four years of um college so i i know what a business plan is, what it should look like, what's the purpose of it, like the real purpose of it. Um, and so just working with this restaurant and I just, it's just been brought to my, basically it's just been brought to my attention that like, I don't think people really know um, what a business plan is or the purpose of it. And it's like they, especially in today's, today now where everybody's all like, entrepreneurship let's start a business do this and do that which is all great because hey y'all just heard me just say I've been <laughs> wanting to do that um uh, or I'm trying to get into doing that so all for it but I feel like a business plan is very essential before starting anything like I don't think you should just start your business without having an actual plan, a business plan. Um, and so I'm creating a very simple, effortless, straight to the point business plan specifically for beginners. Um, like that's how simple this business plan is. It's very just like the very the key things that I think that you're gonna need uh, to prepare and like plan out and stuff before actually starting your business. Um, and it's very straight to the point. Like I literally walk you through it like you're a toddler. <laughs> so that's why I said it's specifically for beginners. Uh, I mean, granted, if you already started and these are some of the things that you kind of like looked over or you're finding fi you're having like challenges within like the business or whatever you may want to like you know come and start here so you can see what you're missing um but for those who be like oh i already did this and i did that or whatever it's not for you it's for the beginners for the people who are like always been thinking about starting a business but like literally have no idea where to start have no idea how to actually start what to do or anything just clueless but they know they want to start something this is for you i'm gonna hold your hand and i'm gonna walk you through the basics and help you prep and plan for your business and so uh, typing up this little ebook here i've actually already made it um like two days ago but right now i just want to go ahead and kind of like proofread it a little bit see if I need to add anything I need to um decorate it or not decorate it <laughs> design it a little bit or design the cover page at least I was thinking about having like a graphic designer do it because um not only am I just making this creating this ebook but I'm actually about to like get business credentials like an ENI and all that type of stuff and actually start like my own website there's some other things that I want to do as well um so this is like just a small portion of my overall business that I'm trying or wanting not trying not wanting that I am speaking it to existence using my words very wisely um that I am starting and so um 
I was originally was gonna get a graphic designer to kind of like design the ebook for me so that it goes along with like the rest of the business other business things that I'm trying to point that I'm planning but I was like nah like I don't need to do all that I can literally I'm probably just gonna go into Canva honestly and do a look little quick design honestly because only the cover page really needs to be designed the rest of it it's it doesn't really need a whole bunch of why is this here see this is why i'm um need to edit it sorry there is a typo that i sound like what but yeah so that is what i'm about to do what was i saying i was saying that it doesn't really need to be designed too much um, because it's a workbook, so I'm telling you what you need, explaining it briefly, and then having you write out <laughs> what you need to be writing out. So it's a little workbook. It's very interactive. Um, again, very simple, straight to the point. Um, and so that's what I'm doing now. So that way I can make it, convert it into a PDF, and then have it out to you guys um again this is just like a brief just so i could tell y'all what i wanted to work on the last task i wanted to do today before i chill out because again i am tired y'all i'm like it's like i'm not tired but i am tired sleepy is the word i'm sleepy i'm not tired i'm sleepy um so yeah i want to hurry up and get this done so that way the quicker I, at least this is done and so as soon as I get like my business credentials then I can be able to like put it out for you guys it's going to be very affordable because again it's like very simple it's nothing like crazy or anything like that so I'm definitely going to make it very affordable but it is going to be available for purchase online um I'm going to turn it into a pdf and have like the fillables so that way if you want to work on it on the computer when you open a file you're able to like type or type on the document and stuff or if you're someone like me who likes to write stuff out or see it in person or have something in hand um you will be able to like print it out and be able to work through it that way so that is what i'm working on now um i think what i want to do is make a whole separate video again like i mentioned when i first started talking um a whole nother video about it where i'm probably actually gonna like walk you guys through every step and break it down even more than what i have in the actual ebook so that way like people working through it if you wanted to come back to the youtube version and actually hear me talking about it and like help you to explain or understand some more stuff in it you'll have a video for that so i think i'm gonna make a separate video about that and then of course be able to like tell you guys what the name of it is where you guys will be able to purchase it at and all that good stuff so yeah i'm about to just work on that right now and then we're gonna call it a day for today pretty proud of myself i feel like i've been pretty productive all day i got a lot of stuff done not really, but I'm going to give myself props. I did. I got a lot of stuff done. Um, and so this is going to be the last thing. And then rewarding myself with just chilling out. Probably going to turn on, go find something to watch. And then, I don't know, maybe I have some wine in the fridge. Maybe I might pour me a glass of wine. I haven't had that in a very long time. So, yeah, we're probably going to do that. But, um, yeah. I will, I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here or if it's going to be a continuous vlog. So, I think it's going to be a continuous vlog. So, I'm not going to end the vlog here. But, I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright?